John here from Look Smart Home Inspections right here in New Jersey and today I want to talk about the importance of having a seller's home inspection or a pre-sale home inspection. We'll talk about some of the positive aspects of that and also there could be a couple of negative aspects of that so we'll also you know delve into that a little bit too. But what is a seller's inspection? It's simply a home inspection um, that is done by somebody who's going to sell a piece of property or a house. So a seller's inspection is the home inspector is working for the, the seller of a property as opposed to the buyer. And that's really the only difference in between the seller's inspection and a buyer's home inspection is who's paying for the home inspection, who the home inspector's client is. In a seller's inspection, obviously the client is the person who is selling the home. So why would somebody want to do uh, an inspection on a home they're thinking about putting up for sale? Well, it's quite, it's quite simply to get in front of the problems so you know exactly what's going on in the home before you go ahead and put the house up for sale. In my mind, it gives you uh, an advantage um, of the rest or the balance of the houses in the marketplace for sale because you know after the seller's inspection, after the home inspector has done his comprehensive and complete home inspection, what actually the problems are in the house that you're selling. Just as a buyer would want to know what the, the problems are in a house that they are buying, it's, it's truly helpful for a seller to understand the problems in a house that, that they are selling. And why is that? Because it gives you the opportunity to have a leg up uh, in terms of fixing and getting ahead of the potential problems before they're found on a buyer's home inspection. So let's talk about that for a minute. Home inspection reports these days are very, very long. I mean, I can speak for myself. My home inspection reports are 70, 80, sometimes over 90 pages long. Lots and lots of pictures of even the small items, right? Small things. Why not, as a seller of a house, get ahead of that? Why not do have a seller's home inspection where these small things are going to come up and you can address them before you list your house and put it on the market. This way, the buyer's not overwhelmed with all these small issues, right? We're not talking about getting um, devious here. We're not talking about covering things up. We're just really talking about addressing the maintenance items in the home, the non-working items in a home, so they don't come up later on and overwhelm a potential buyer. So if you can take 20 items off your home inspection uh, report that are easy fixes for either you or a handy person to do, why not do that? It's going to pay for itself, basically, because the buyer of your house is going to be that much more confident in the home, and you are likely to have a smoother transaction without having to give a lot of credits back or to fix issues that already have been corrected. So your buyer is going to have so much more confidence. So it really pays to have a seller's home inspection just to even address these small things that you may or may not know about. And I guarantee that the, a good thorough home inspection that's comprehensive is going to uncover things that you, you didn't even know existed in your own home and that you can get in front of and fix before the buyer finds out about them on their home inspection. So definitely consider it. Having a seller's home inspection can also, as a seller of a house, provide you more time to fix issues. So if you have a, a seller's home inspection two or three months before you go ahead and list your house, you're going to have that much more time to deal and to fix the problem. So why not find out about medium or large size issues way before you put the house and list it on the market because then you have the luxury of time. You have the luxury of bringing in some people, bringing in contractors to help you assess the fix and correction, getting estimates. Because if you wait until that buyer's home inspector finds those medium to larger problems, you're, you're in a time crunch. You're either going to have to give credits. You're going to be rushed to do those repairs. You may not find the best pricing for contractors. So it really pays to take your time, do your seller's home inspection two or three months before you list the house. That's ample time for you to have any contractors, engineers, anything you have to 
any any professionals in, in addition to be bought into the house to provide estimates or corrections that gives you a nice buffer zone of time rather than being rushed during that inspection contingency everybody's hassled everybody's everybody's nerves are frayed everything is in a time crunch you know how it is real estate in new jersey why not at your leisure two three months have your seller's inspection uncover the small medium large issues and then you can formulate a game plan and not have them come up on the buyer's home inspection i think that that's an excellent thing to do and i think that'll really set your house apart from the other homes in the marketplace having a seller's home inspection or pre-sale home inspection will also give you the ability to pri prioritize your list of inspection items so working with your real estate agent and the home inspector who performed that pre-sales inspection you guys can come up with a list of priority items high priority medium priority low priority items and that'll sort of help you understand what items need to be done and what items we sort of can back burner and also your agent has the ability if they have experience in the industry is to help you understand how those inspection items are going to affect the sale of the house if there are big items in the home what dollar value you can assign you know to those fixes it's very important to sort of digest all the items that are found on your pre-sales inspection and to prioritize those items and of course we're going to fix all the small stuff all the medium stuff is going to be fixed it's all going to be taken off before you list the home all that's going to be done and so you'll have the confidence to know that all that has been done and basically what's going to come up are those higher dollar items possibly right and then you can sort of formulate a plan am i going to take the money off uh, as far as credits am i going to give the buyer some credits am i going to reflect those you know that uh, that condition that exists in my house today in the price of the home so that's going to give you an idea of how to better price your house for the marketplace to reflect the conditions that exist let's talk about bigger inspection items that may come up on your pre-sales home inspection so you if you have a major item or two come up on your pre-sales inspection at least you're going to know about it right so maybe there there's there's folks who live in houses for years and do not know that there are big problems in the house that are going to come up on the home inspection so let's say that a big item comes up having a pre-sales inspection at least gives you the time to work on that issue and it can help you develop a game plan for pricing right it can more realistically allow you to price the house so if you have a couple of big inspection items come up you may want to reduce the price you're asking price of the home even before you put the home on the market to more exactly reflect those conditions rather than having a buyer's home inspector come in telling the buyer that there's big problems in the house and then that buyer having to ask you to reduce the price but if you disclose those items and they're already reflected in the price that's for it's going to create a much simpler negotiation you know hey mr buyer yeah i know i have this foundation wall problem it's not that big of a deal but it's going to take six thousand dollars to strap this foundation and that's already reflected in the price isn't that better than the buyer's home inspector finding the problem and it's not disclosed and then they go ahead and say you know we think it's going to cost six to ten thousand and then you have to negotiate even more than the six thousand dollars that you already get the estimate for so it's important to know that your home has big problems before you list it because it gives you that much more educated you're going to be this is a huge thing right houses are very expensive so why not do as a as a seller of property your due diligence to know exactly what's going on with your home so you can really be strategic and make a plan to sell your house accordingly let's face it having a pre-sales inspection that's clean that came back excellent is is a great way to market your house so if you present potential buyers with a clean home inspection report from a reputable home inspection company i'm not talking about any home inspection company fly by night brand new home inspector i'm talking about 
the real deal, right? If you get a real deal, thorough, comprehensive home inspector in your house to do a pre-sales inspection, who's got excellent reputation and longevity, and they say the house, hey, this, this house looks good. I only found a few of the issues, but the majority of the home uh, looks good. And you can present that with, uh, you know, along to your potential buyer. Uh, that's going to really give them confidence in the house. That's really going to make them feel good about presenting you with a, uh, a really good offer. And they're going to feel good about it, too. So if you feel good about it and the buyer feels good about it, you know, that's definitely, definitely a win-win. So um, having that really positive home inspection report pre-sale is, is going to give you definitely uh, a more advantageous uh, ability to market your house for sure. And of course, the buyer is going to have their own home inspection. Of course, well, that's just part of their due diligence. But if you hire the right pre-sales home inspector and you know that you, you can rely on that home inspection report, that that buyer's inspector is not going to come up and uncover all kinds of crazy defects and problems because that first reputable home inspector that you hired as the seller of the home would have found those issues. So it really helps to have a pre-sales inspection, especially, especially if your house is pristine, especially if there are no major issues there, just minor, couple of minor issues. You present that home inspection report, you know, to your potential buyers and you are made in the shade, in my opinion. I think that is a very, very powerful tool to get your asking price and even possibly over. There are a lot of benefits to having a pre-sales home inspection, but there is at least a little bit of a negative uh, possibly, is that as a seller of a piece of real estate and as an owner of a piece of real estate and you find out that you have a major problem in your house, such as some things that are considered a material defect. And a material defect is anything that substantially affects the safety, habitability, or value of the property. And you find out about that on a pre-sales home inspection, you're obligated by law to disclose that problem. And that can affect the asking price of, of the home, for, for sure. But if the buyer hires a reputable and comprehensive home inspector, they're going to find that problem anyway. So just think about that when you're um, going to do a pre-sales inspection. You have to disclose major defects that are found to the buyers potentially of your house. And I still think that the, uh, the positives vastly outweigh the negatives uh, of having a pre-sales inspection for sure. And another potential negative uh, of having a pre-sale inspection is that it's hard to hear negative feedback about your house. It just is. Um, you, you, let's face it, real estate is, is a, uh, it's very emotional. You're attached to the home. Maybe you lived in a home 20 or 30 years. And now you have uh, a pre-sale home inspector come in and they're uh, telling you some negative stuff about your home that, frankly, you don't, don't want to hear. So the way to approach that aspect is to not be involved uh, with the inspection process. Just have the home inspector uh, come in do their business, do their comprehensive home inspection, and receive that home inspection report. Then you can read that and look over that home inspection report and then formulate your game plan. But if you approach a pre-sales home inspection as if you're going to be buying your own home and try to alleviate that emotional tie that you have, and I know it's hard, but in this case, you really must kind of separate the two. So I think not having that on-site emotional investment as the home inspector actually performs their due diligence in your house would allow you to kind of break that emotional bind that we sometimes have in real estate. So consider that if you're having a pre-sales home inspection is to just read and digest the report. Don't be involved with the actual home inspection going around the house with the home inspector process, I think you'll be better off and be just better prepared to accept those findings where you can kind of separate, separate yourself emotionally from, uh, you know, your house that you may have lived in for quite a while. So 
Those are the benefits of having a pre-sales inspection. Those are a couple of negatives, possibly, about having a pre-sale inspection. I do think they're worthwhile. Um, I think that they bring to light and a lot of information for you, a seller of a house. And at least it gives you the ability to know how your house will do when uh, the buyer hires a home inspector. A lot of times, you know, you as a seller have been living in a home for, say, 20, 30 years. You haven't had a home inspection in a while. And maybe you're not, you know, you don't understand what will come up. And it's just good. It gives you the more information you have as a seller, the better pricing decisions you can make, the more intelligent you can be about selling your house. So I think it's always advantageous to have a seller's inspection. So thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. And John from Look Smart Home Inspections right here in New Jersey. And we'll see you next time.